Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning the week of January 6th through January 12th and I have this really gorgeous winter themed kit today. This is from Saucy Stickers Co. I know I just use a kit from her shop and I really prefer to space out the shops that I use um, but when I was like planning out my schedule of which kits to use, um, this was the best week for this particular kit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it in. This one is called Winter Wish and I love these full boxes. That's what really drew me to the kit. The quote box in the center here says hello winter and then we have three quarter boxes at the bottom. On this page we have some icons and text stickers, bill do, sidebar stuff, um, heart check flags, flags, and then a movie marquee. And then on here we have some glitter headers, half boxes, and quarter boxes. And the last page has the bottom washi which is two different strips. We have a set of date covers, we have these three heart checklist headers, and then a couple washi strips here um, on this side. Um, so yeah, that's the kit that I will be using for this week. If you're interested in watching me plan, go ahead and stay tuned. Um, as usual, I'm going to start with my bottom washi and I will build my spread from there. I did just recently use another kit from Saucy Stickers Co. So um, her format felt very familiar to me and um, I decided to put down both of these strips of washi. I love that bow washi that she includes. I think it's like the perfect size um, and doesn't look like too overwhelming there in the bottom section. So once I go ahead and place all those down, I move to the sidebar and I first place down the quote box in the top corner. Um, I did have to white out the hexagon this week because it did not match this kit. And then um, I pulled in this January script sticker from Heather Co. so that I could indicate the month at the top. For this week, I'm pulling in glitter headers from Mandy Dreams. The kit did come with some glitter headers, but they aren't in the chunky variety, which is my favorite, so I decided to use these ones from Mandy Dreams instead. I then placed down a quarter box and used a heart checklist from the kit for my happy moments, and then I used another quarter box with the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. I pulled in this Happy Moment script sticker. I think that's from Kinsey's Creations. I actually got that sticker from a friend, so I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct shop. And for my dinners, I put down this What's for Dinner sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I decided to pull in a couple icons as well. So for my dinners, I used this utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. And then for my happy moments, I used this really cute um, heart quotation sticker. And that is from, I think it's from Mochi Kiji. I then placed down all the date covers that came with the kit and um, instead of pulling in date dots, I just decided to write in the dates myself and then I go ahead and move on to Monday. For Monday, I first placed down this bow header and that was a leftover strip from the bottom washi and then I pulled in a quarter box with this backpack sticker. I think that's from Simply Me Kish. It does have some text on it and I just went ahead and cut it off so I had just the backpack and I used that to mark that Monday was the first day back to work after winter break. Um, I definitely needed to grab some coffee in the morning so I used a strip of washi and the coffee cup sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then placed down a full box underneath that and I pulled in this working emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. To mark that on Monday, I actually had a training that I had to go to and so I wasn't actually at my school site. Um, so it did make for an easier transition back to work. I then put down a flag with this poke sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that I got some poke for lunch. And then for the rest of my day, I pulled in this purple glitter header with this half box and then I decided everything looked a bit squished so I moved the full box and the flag up just a little bit so that I had some more space. I pulled in this workout girl sticker that's from Thule Plans and I marked that I did a workout that day for the first time in I want to say like two or three months so it was a pretty big deal. I'm trying to get back into the workout routine um, which has been kind of hard but I feel definitely a lot more motivated now than I was um, a couple months ago and then at the very bottom I used this YouTube icon from Paper and Milk to mark that I worked on some videos. On Tuesday, I first put down a glitter header at the top, then I used a half box with this um, paper clip sticker from, I think it's from Tickled Pink Planning, and I just used that to mark that I had a pretty busy day at work. I had lots of kids to see and paperwork to send out. Um, I did mark my lunch because I didn't have a whole lot going on on Tuesday, um, so when that happens, I do like to mark lunch in order to take up some space. That utensils icon came in the kit, and then I used a quarter box with a pencil sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that I had a meeting in the afternoon. 
I placed down a full box at the very bottom and then I continued with my day. So I first used this strength training sticker from Lev Shira, who's no longer open. Um, I still have tons of her stickers though, so you will see me pull those in every now and then. And then I used a half box sticker with a TV from Brandy's shop to mark that I watched some Gilmore Girls that night. Um, in the last few months, my boyfriend has been going out on Tuesday evenings to work out with some friends. And so it's been really nice having some me time during those nights. Then for Wednesday, Wednesday, I first put down a full box at the top, um, but I wanted to write that I uploaded a plan with me, so I go ahead and do that. The laptop sticker, I believe, came in the kit. I then used a flag sticker with this um, emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I was really, really sore. I did two workouts, so Monday and Tuesday, and literally my body like could not handle it. I was so incredibly sore. I could barely walk and just like sneezing was like painful. So anyways, that's what happens when I don't work out for a while. Um, then I used a glitter header with a quarter box to mark a meeting. That pen sticker is from Little Star Plans. And then I had an IEP meeting after school, so I put that on a half box. And the IEP sticker is from Happy Diet stickers. I placed down a quarter box at the very bottom and then I pulled in this house sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I got home pretty late on Wednesday. I had a lot to do after the meeting and then we watched some TV so I pulled in this TV icon. I want to say that's from the Sparkly Studio. On Wednesday, I was just feeling super hungry when I got home, so I pretty much like binge ate everything in sight. To mark that, I used this binge eating munchkin from Once More With Love. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a glitter header at the top and then I used a flag sticker with this car from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I had to go grab something off campus in the morning. And then I had a meeting which I marked using a half box and this large bow paper clip sticker from Fox and Pip. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but the brush lettering pen I'm using this week is from Pilot, and it's a really good brush pen, especially um, because it's a little bit thinner, so the writing fits nicely in my planner. I then placed down a full box at the bottom and then moved back to the rest of the day. Um, so I pulled in this laptop sticker, I think that's from Nicole Hutch Designs, to mark that I had a pretty busy day at work. And then I placed down a few boxes to fill the remaining space. That pink and white box I actually cut up from a full box that I wasn't going to be using. So I was able to create kind of like a washi strip from that box. And then I decided to switch out the color of the laptop because there was so much pink going on in that section. So I decided to use a gray laptop instead to kind of break it up. I then used a Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I got some Nike yoga pants in that day. I was actually selected to be a participant for um, trialing out some new products, so they sent those to me so that I could try them out, and then I did a workout in them. So to mark the workout, I used the shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. We then did date night that night, so I put that on the full box. The date night emojis are from the Coffee Monsters Co. And yeah, like I said earlier, the pen that I'm using is the Pilot Brush Lettering Pen. On Friday, I first put down a header and I covered it up with this important script sticker from K Stickers Co. Um, because what the header said wasn't really pertinent to the day. And the first thing I marked was my Friday coffee. I put that on a quarter box and the coffee sticker is from Paper and Milk. I then used a full box and it had a little bit of empty space at the bottom. So I pulled in this phone sticker that is from Tickled Pink Planning um, to mark that I had to call a coworker about something that day. We had a schedule call. Um, and then at the very bottom, this part, I was really trying to figure out how I wanted to mark everything. So I decided to put down some boxes so I knew how much space I had. At the very bottom, I used a movie marquee. And then above that, I used a half box with a glitter header. I then cut up one of the washi strips that came with the kit, and then on that, I used a stethoscope sticker from the kit to mark that I had to schedule a doctor's appointment that day. I then pulled in the shoe sticker, which I believe is from Planner Frenzy, um, but I later decided to switch it out for a dumbbell sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. instead, and that really cute workout tech sticker is from the kit. On the half box, I put down this shoe sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I went on a walk with one of my friends, and it was really nice getting to um, just kind of catch up with her while we were walking. The view was really pretty, and there was a full moon that night, so it just made for a really good time. And then on the movie marquee, I just marked the two stand-up comedy shows that we watched that night on Netflix, and both of them were really funny. I really enjoyed them, so I would recommend them if you are looking for a comedy to watch. 
for the weekend, I decided to use the weekend banner this time. Um, last time when I used one of her kits, I was on winter break, so I didn't feel the need to mark my weekends. Um, but anyways, to create a background, I took the remainder of that full box that I cut up and I cut it into two small strips so that I could um, just create a background for the weekend banner. For Saturday, I first placed down a half box and then I used a dim sum sticker from Happy Daya Stickers to mark that we went and grabbed some dim sum with some friends that morning. Um, it was really fun because it was their first time getting dim sum, so we kind of got to introduce it to them and it was super good. Then we went to Bevmo to grab some beer um, because we were going to be playing games that day and we wanted to try some new beers. The Beer Girl sticker is from Paper Bear Co. And then I decided to work from the bottom again so I knew how much space I had. And at the very bottom, I used a quarter box with a movie emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched um, the movie Moonlight. It was really good, but definitely very profound and a bit heavy. Above that, I used a utensil sticker also from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark our dinner. And then I placed down that turquoise full box with a glitter header on top. I had just a sliver of space left and it wasn't big enough to fit a quarter box. So I actually took one of the quarter boxes from the kit and trimmed off the top and the bottom part um, just so that I could make it fit. And then I used a house icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we had our friends over to continue playing the game that we've been playing for the last few weeks. I used the full box to mark the game that we were playing. It's called Pandemic, and this was the third day that we were playing it. We were so close to finishing, um, but we weren't able to, so we have one more day left to complete the entire campaign. Um, then moving to Sunday, I first placed down a glitter header at the top, and then I used a full box underneath. I realized that I might not have enough space to mark everything for the day, and so I decided to trim down the full box a bit so I could make more room. Underneath that, because the kit didn't really come with any daily headers, I decided to cut up a um, heart that was part of a heart checklist so that I could create a header and then I placed down a heart check flag underneath that. I pulled in this car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs and wrote in errands on the header because I did run quite a few errands that day. And then on the full box, I pulled in the sleeping mask sticker from Laven Forest to mark that I had a pretty lazy morning um, on Sunday, which was always lovely. I go ahead and fill out my checklist of all the places that I went. Um, so one of my goals for 2020 is to try to cook a new dish every month. And so on this day, I was planning to cook my dish for January. And so I did have to go to a couple different grocery stores to get all the ingredients that I needed. Um, I did stop by to get boba on the way. So I pulled in this really cute boba sticker from Paper Bear Co. I then put down the remaining boxes that I would be using for the day. And then on the quarter box, I initially used this cooking couple sticker from Kina Prints to mark the dish that I cooked, but I later switched it out for a cooking girl from Happy Daya Stickers instead because I was the one that was cooking. I wasn't really cooking with my boyfriend, so I just felt like the sticker was a better representation. And then at the bottom on the half box, I pulled in this cheerleading girl sticker from Artbox Stickers to mark that we started the show Cheer on Netflix. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. I love it so much. And we just finished the season a couple days ago and just absolutely loved it. So that's definitely another show that I would recommend. That concludes my week. So now I'm just going back in to fill out all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. I actually worked out a few times this week. So super proud of myself because that honestly hasn't happened since like, I don't know, September or something. So yeah, I'm really trying to get back into a more healthy lifestyle. Um, and that is it for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, for this particular spread, I decided not to pull in any foils just because I had been using a lot of foils the last few weeks and will be using a lot of foils coming up. So, so I just just thought I would take a little break today and I feel like the spread reminds me of some of the ones that I used to do a few years ago and so it feels kind of nostalgic to me for some reason but um, as usual please let me know if you have any questions and um, thank you so so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time bye